So we are finally talking about this hair tutorial with my clip-ins and I'm gonna show you how I went from this to this and ended up with this. Hey, it's your girl Kita, and welcome to my channel, More Keto, where style is a uh, not defined by your budget, honey. So today's video is the long-awaited hair tutorial featuring my clip-ins that I typically use. And when I tell you the anxiety has set in, honey, <laughs> the anxiety has set in because I am not the hair guru. I am not the best at doing hair. I just kind of do what I do when I do it. So, you know, please be kind, honey. Bear with me on this one. <laughs> also, I just want to kind of give you a little bit of background when it comes to my hair. My hair is natural. So my natural texture when it is not pressed is a kinky curly texture. And um, I have no perm, nothing like that. The only chemicals that I currently have in my hair is a black rinse. Um, I tend to gray heavily right here in the Whittle peak area and then also too for this particular video I did not record me actually washing my hair in the shower I do have two other videos on the channel where I do show that I just didn't feel like getting the water all over the floor honey because it is a challenge it is a balance of trying to make sure the camera is farther enough away to where it doesn't get wet and get damaged but close enough to where you can still see the footage honey but not too close to where you are actually in the shower with me <laughs> But when it comes to me and my wash days, each wash day is a little different because I try to listen to my hair. So there are days where I do kind of a restore of restorative. <laughs> where I try to do like a treatment just to kind of restore it, things of that nature. There's days where I wash my hair when I do like a deep conditioning. And then I just have some regular wash days where I just shampoo and condition, leave in condition, honey, and go about my business. So um, I'm gonna talk about all the products and then I'll definitely make sure I zero in and talk about what I use just for this particular video. I did go ahead and start off with dry hair and then I went ahead and saturated my entire hair using the Olaplex number zero. Now this particular product is supposed to go ahead and repaired damaged hair and I left it on for 10 minutes after leaving it on for 10 minutes I did go ahead and follow up with the Olaplex number three and this particular one is also supposed to help restore and rebuild damaged hair now Olaplex is pretty expensive so I don't use the shampoo and conditioner I've tried it I don't find a difference with the shampoo and conditioner, so I just rather save the money and go ahead and use my regular shampoo and conditioner. But when it comes to like their restorative and their treatment products, I actually really do see a difference with those. Once that's been sitting in my hair for the allotted time, I do go ahead and rinse it out. And once I rinse it out, I just followed up with my regular shampoo and conditioner. Currently, I am using the Cantu. It works just fine for my hair, honey. And the price point is A1, okay? <laughs> I did go ahead and follow up with a deep conditioning treatment and there's two products right now currently that I do flip flop between and one of them is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil and the other one is the Olaplex Number no. 8 Intense Moisture Mask. But for this video, for this particular wash, I did just use the Shea Moisture, went ahead and deep conditioned and then I moved on to the next step. But before we get to that, I just want to mention on the days that I don't do a deep, a deep conditioning, I can't even get it out girl, <laughs> on the days that I do not do a deep conditioning. I do go ahead and use the Aussie three times moisture uh, moisturizer. This way I can just use it in the shower three minutes and it still kind of gives me that deep conditioning feel. Now with any of my wash days, I always follow up with some leave-in conditioner and I'm just using the Cantu leave-in conditioner right now. It just works just fine for me. After that, I do follow up with the Color Wild Dream Coat to help prevent my hair from frizzing up with all the heat and things of that nature. And then I go ahead and apply the OGX Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum and I follow it up with the Chi Heat Protectant since I'm gonna be flat ironing my hair. I also have a few hair clips and some hair ties to go ahead and section off my hair. I typically section my hair off in four sections before I blow dry and I like to blow dry my hair on cool air so that's why it takes me a lot longer probably more than the average person to blow dry my hair because I try to keep the heat to a minimum as much as possible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through this process right here just to kind of show you how I blow dry my hair because it is a lengthy process and I know you just do not want to sit through all of that honey so we just gonna go ahead and just speed through this part okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
So now you see me looking like the great Mustafa with my great big lion's mane, honey. <laughs> and I absolutely love it. I love big hair. You saw my hair when it's in this natural curly state. There are times that I would just do a wash and go. Now I'm going to go ahead and flat iron it. So I'm also just going to speed through that process as well, not to bore you too much. All right, and this is what my hair looks like when I do go ahead and flat iron it. A lot of times I will just go ahead and wear it like this in a bob. I do need to just trim it a little bit. Now, because I did this video towards the end of the night, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw my hair back into a ponytail or a bun, and then I'm gonna come back on the next day and show you how I do the clip-ins. All right, so now it's the next day and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my clip-ins in. Now what I like to do is just go ahead and section off a little bit at the top. This is gonna be my leave out and I try to get as least amount of hair as possible. Enough to that will cover the tracks, the clip-in so you can't see it, but not a lot to where I have a lot of my hair um, exposed. And then with the remaining part of my hair, I do go ahead and split it into two different ponytails. I just braid it up and then I just bobby pin them up. This way I can just protect my hair. Now, I know a lot of people, and I mentioned this before, a lot of people will go ahead and leave their hair out and section the clip-ins in between their hair. Absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. I choose not to do that because uh, when you need to refresh your curls and recurl them, then your hair is in between and I don't wanna put any additional heat on my hair if I don't have to. The only thing I do is I just make sure my leave out, I just kind of move it to the side so I'm not getting any heat on that as well. And then truth be told, another reason why I go ahead and braid my hair up is because honey, I cannot corn roll to save the life, okay? <laughs> to save anybody's life. I cannot cornrow. I mean, I can't dance and I can't cornrow, honey. Just revoke the whole black card, okay? <laughs> Let me go ahead and talk about the clip-ins all together. Now, these particular clip-ins, I got them from Amazon where I have purchased them on three separate occasions. The, the first time I picked a perfect texture matches amazingly and very minimum shedding. Had it, loved it, kept using it. And I was like, okay, I wanna go ahead and get a longer length so the second time i purchased it i did get a 1b because the one was out of stock and when i tell you the shedding was horrific <laughs> it was like what is going on here i don't know if it's because it was a longer length or because i chose to do a 1b this time so i was like oh my gosh but i decided to give them another chance so my third purchase, I went ahead and got the color one again, and I still got a longer length, which was a 20. And this one sheds, but it doesn't shed as much as the second, but definitely more than my first purchase. So I'm on the fence right now. So personally, I would suggest just to wait until I purchase them again. I'm not gonna purchase it until mid to late August. And once I purchase them, I will do an update on the community tab here on YouTube. So just keep an eye out on that community tab. Here, I'm just going ahead and put in the rest of the clip-ins. Mm -hmm. 
once everything is clipped in and I feel secure, then I'm gonna go ahead and just unravel the top uh, leave out portion and then just blend it in. Again, I am not putting any additional heat on my leave out. So that is how it looks all together. And this is how I wear when I do my clip-ins. Now, right now I don't have the clip-ins. I have my hair in a bushy ponytail or a texture ponytail that I also got from Amazon. I will leave that down in the description box as well. Um, I just wanted a little bit of a break and it's just been hot. So just push it all back, get it out of my way. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial featuring these clip-ins from Amazon. And if you did, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. As I've mentioned, I am not a hair guru. I am not a hairstylist. I am not the best when it comes to doing hair. So I hope you enjoyed it. Just to kind of give you a sneak peek of how I do things. You know, it may not always be correct. <laughs> but it is something and then also to the shirt that I have on because I know sometimes you ask me um what am I wearing this shirt is from a store called Micah's and Hunty everything I got does not fit even this is a bit tight it is squeezy I don't know let me know down in the comments if you would be interested in seeing that video because I went back and forth I'm like nothing fits what am I going to show people and then not only that buttons was popping off girl <laughs> Split the pants, broke the button. It was just a not a good footage day. But maybe that would help you if you were interested in a store like that. I had never purchased from them before. I just saw it and I was like, you know what? Let me give them a try, something different. And girl, it was not successful. But if you are interested in seeing it, let me know in the comments box but I'm gonna stop rambling as I always do if you do want to see more fashion as well as more lifestyle content and of course more keto honey then go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell and I will catch you guys in the next one